this photograph It kind of made me laugh It took me way back Back down memory lane I see the happiness I see the pain Where am I? Back down memory lane I see you standing there Such a happy, happy Okay. 
girl got some sunglasses. Go on, Miss Cool Mama. So now you ain't got a book bag for sunglasses all the time. You already got some. Okay, pull up. what else you got? Uh, Tell me again. Yeah. Uh, I love you too, mommy.
of a beautiful, amazing woman. If you know that for a fact, come on, you ought to make some noise about Amen. that. <laughs> Glenn Foreman Jr. And we just gonna follow as the order of service has been printed and we will not uh, tarry because this family deserves the opportunity to have their moments. Amen. 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 So we're gonna have a solo uh, by William Sanders in prayer, uh, comfort, by Sister Kenya Cook, and then have a solo uh, by Liz uh, Owens in that in that order. Amen. 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 First of all, everybody say Amen. Amen. Let's say it again. Amen. We came here to celebrate the life of Miss Dorothy because she's a child of God. She was made by God. God created her, and Tisa. Your mother, I know she loved you. I know she loved you dear. And the love that y'all two had that no one can take away. And when we look at the pictures up there, we see your mother in you. So as you walk through the rest of your life, your mother is still gonna be living because she's gonna be living in you. Amen. And you know, your mother don't you to worry about, she ain't gonna worry about you right now because she knows you are all right and she's all right. But you know, she had some good times and she had some bad. But you know what, through it all, she made it. Yeah. So this song that I'm gonna sing is, I had some good days and I had some hills to climb. Because we all have hills, hills to climb. We all have trials and tribulations. The Bible tells us that we're gonna have them. But it's when we have them, it's what we do when we have them. Are we gonna continue to trust in God? Are we gonna continue to believe in God's word? Because his word tells us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Now you have to believe that. If you don't believe that, then something wrong, some way. Amen? Amen. So if I, I'm gonna try to attempt to do this song the best of my abilities, because I'm gonna let the good Lord use me the way he needs to use me. Amen? Amen. Y'all pray for me. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb, and I've had some weary days, and some sleepless nights, but when I, Lord, when I look around, and I think things over. This will be saying, Tisa. All of my good days all the way my bad days. But then I I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low. I could hardly see the road 
I've asked the question, Lord. Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes, they can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. When things don't go my way, I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I, I won't complain. For God has been so good to me. He's been good to me. More than this so well, more than this so well. You, you could ever be. God's been so good. He's been so good. So good, so good, so good, so good to me. Yeah. You know what he done? He, he tried all of those tears away. Yes, yes, yes. Turn your midnight into day. Well, then I, I'll say thank you, Lord. When my friends talk about me, thank you, Lord. When I didn't have no food on my table, thank you, Lord. When my bills wasn't paid, thank you, Lord. Yes, thank sir. you, Lord. And I, I won't complain. Yes, yeah, yeah. God has been so good to me. This God is talking. He's been good to me. More than just so well, more than just so well, you, you could ever be. God's been so good, so good, so good to me. truly has been good to all of us. He has been good to you, Tisa. He's been good to you. And he was good to Dorothy. And so I say to you today, take comfort in knowing that God is with you. And this village of people that are here today, we are with you. For weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Yes, and I know you're going to miss your mama. You're going to miss that smile and the joy that she brought to you. But know that you have people here. You have a village around you that will comfort you. And so I say to the village, don't just leave her after today. But no, in the days to come, the months to come, and the years to come, that she's going to need to hear from you. She's going to need to hear from us to give her encouraging words, to offer your condolences continually to her, to keep her lifted in prayer, that she would be strong. Thank you, Dale, for being a source of strength. But Tisa know that Dale's strength is limited. Only God has unlimited strength, and he's the one that will give you everything that you need. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. 
Most gracious and eternal Father, we do thank you today. We thank you, God, for we know that you are the only true and living God. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you for your Holy Spirit, whom you said you sent to be our comforter. And so, Holy Spirit, I pray now that you come and that you comfort, that you comfort Tisa, that you comfort Dale, that you comfort Talisa, Diana, and the rest of the family, Lord God, that mourns, Lord God. For you said that blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted, Lord God. And so, Father, we ask for your comfort today, O oh God. We ask, O oh Father God, Lord, for your peace, Lord God, for peace of mind today, O oh God. Let Tisa know, oh Father God, Lord, that she did everything, oh God, Lord, that you required of her to do, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus against any shame, against any guilt, Lord God, for she know, oh Father God, Lord, all that she's done, Lord God, all that the family did, oh Father God, Lord, and we thank you for it. We thank you, oh God, that when the doctors gave up, oh Father God, Lord, on doing that you stepped in, God, and you performed a miracle, Lord God, and you did it more than once, God. But when it was her time, oh Father God, Lord, you took her, Lord God. And Father, we thank you for the time that we had with her. We thank you, oh Father God, Lord, for the joy, Lord God, that we saw, oh Father God, Lord, in her, Lord God, from her radiant smile, Lord God, and her laughter, Lord God. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for the memories that we have, oh Father God, Lord, and for knowing that she would be within our hearts, Lord Father. God, I praise you now in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh, Father, for your strength, Lord God, to continue to strengthen the family, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, Lord, you say that you hear us and that when we call upon your name, Lord God, that you will come, Lord God, and that you will see about us. I thank you, Lord God, for every tear, oh, Father God, Lord, that will be cried today, oh, God, for you will bottle them up, oh, Father God, for you know exactly what they mean, Lord God. And, Father, I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. I bless your holy name, Lord God, and I pray, oh, Father God, Lord, that by your spirit, Spirit, Lord God, that you would draw them closer to you, O oh Father God, Lord, that they would come, O oh Father God, Lord, into greater knowledge of you, that they would know, O oh Father God, Lord, that your son Jesus lives and that he is our Savior. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 We have a solo. And then follow that, we have our scripture and acknowledgments. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of one of the saints. Today we honor that one today. I thought about many songs to do today, but this one I think would be very appropriate. I remember mama and the love that she gave Kneeling by my bedside, I can still hear my mama say People depending on your child, don't you let them down I remember my mama in a happy way we went to school with holes in our shoes. <laughs> we didn't have much, but the Lord saw us through. Mama kept the family together, together, yes, she did. I remember my mama in a happy way. She packed our lunch. In an old greasy bag. It might have shaped a bit, but it was more than others had. It had a lot of love way down, way down deep inside. I remember <coughs> my mama in a happy way. Now my mother is sleeping in the bosom of Jesus Christ. She might not be with us, but she's smiling on us here right now. One day we're going to meet her in that holy place, and oh, how happy we'll be. Yes, I remember my mama in a happy way. Now my brothers and sisters, we are living 
this would be easy. Tisa has always been there when I was going through my uh, time of sorrow and grief. She was one of Lord's best friends and she was always uh, calling and checking on me every since and that's what I told her the other day. I said if you're going to see what you're going to need is months and years from now. That's when you're going to need this village to stand up and still come around you. It's been five years, and she's one of the main people. Every time she sees me, she says, how are you really doing? It's not how are you doing, how are you really doing? You know, and that's what she's going to need years from now, not just for today. So I have the opportunity, she asked me to do the, uh, a scripture for you. A lot of times we try to have this stuff committed to memory, but I don't want to mess this up. So I am going to read, and you probably said, you're supposed to know this by heart. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do 23 songs, okay? Um, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in greater pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in a path of righteousness for the name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of death, the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare the table before me to the presence of my in the presence of my enemy, but you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And one I find under the New Testament I thought was real appropriate. Luke 6 21. Blessed are you. Who hunger now for you will be satisfied blessed are you who weep now for you will laugh the second and the third be truths promise and pain and loss are not permanent though a mother's love is irreplaceable the love of Christ will fill that void and you will learn to laugh again. Amen. Amen. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our Lord will last forever. Amen. 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 God bless this family. Let's stay with them and be by their side forever and ever. Amen. 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 Step aside of acknowledgement, I am Deshaun Williams. 
Uh, for those of you that don't know me, oh, sorry about that. Um, Brotherhood, Chris Hood, Grand Secretary for Tools of Solid Grand Lodge, State of Florida, Modern Free and Accepted Florida. I'm sorry, Modern Free and Accepted Masons of the World. This is going to be an expression of sympathy we're going to present to our brother Daryl Wilson. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> to Brother Dale Wilson, King Solomon Lodge, number 255, Jacksonville, Florida. Modern Freedom Accepted Masons of the World, Inc., Ancient and Accepted, Scottish Rite Freemasonry, State of Florida. Your family, to the family, and the loss of your loved one, Miss Dorothy Rose, is from the officers and members of Tombs of Solomon Grand Lodge, Brother Michael Cave Sr., 33rd degree, Grand Master. It is with deep sympathy that we, your brothers in Christ, and of the Masonic Order, extend to you and your family these words of comfort and our sincere and heartfelt condolences and the loss of your loved one. Sorry, y'all, because I was just you know, was, yeah, still fresh for me too. Okay, so those of you who don't know, my mom passed away October 26th. Okay, so. And I'm only child too, so it was rough. Um, we pray that your unwavering faith in God will help you find comfort and consolation at this time of bereavement. Brother Wilson and family, be assured that God is there for you individually and collectively. We, your brothers of Tombs of Solomon, Grand Lodge, stand together with you. May God your hope and look up to the hills from whence cometh your help. May God bless and keep you and your family in his tender and loving care, fraternally and humbly submitted on this ninth day of March, 2024, for the Michael Cave Senior, 33rd degree, Grandmaster, Modern Free Florida. <coughs> Thinking of you and your loss, those we love are always with you. Their laughter, their wisdom, and their thoughtfulness of our gifts of love, that they are in our hearts and we keep them. May the gift of your loved ones help console you now and fill your heart with their comfort warmly, your deepest sympathy with love Greg, Kathy, and Fanny, the bonds. Holding on in our hearts. We're sharing in our sorrow and keeping you close in thought as you mourn and honor someone so loved by you and by many with love and sympathy and caring. Please accept our condolence of your loss. Nothing about this is easy. I'm so sorry, our friend, Grandmaster, Michael Cave, and Sister Linda Cave. <laughs> your mom was very special, praying that even in your great loss, you're feeling surrounded by love. May your years work of love from your wonderful mother and many prayers work of love from the people near you who care about you and what you're going through. The Lord knows and loves never ends. His mercy never stops, and they are new 
for every morning. This is from FRCS and family. Now we will take the time to read the obituary. A celebration of life. Sunrise, March 11, 1953. <coughs> Sunset, February 17, 2024. Dorothy Rose. On Friday, February 17, 2024, in Orange Park, Florida, at HCA Florida Orange Park, God in his infinite wisdom called home our beloved Dorothy Marie Rose. Dorothy Marie Rose was born on March 11, 1953, in Wilmington, North Carolina, to the late Bertha Lee Rose and Louis Big Bond. She moved to Norfolk, Virginia, with Bertha Lee, sister Carrie Reed, Carrie R. Bess. Due to her mother's unexpected death at the tender age of four, Dorothy was raised in a loving home with her older brother, Robert Lee Bones. Dorothy Marie Rose, affectionately known as Booty, has seen have seven siblings, all which precedes her in death. They are sisters Rachel Price of Wilmington, North Carolina, Patsy Ann Dempsey of Hilton, New York, Mary Smith of Bronx, New York, brothers William Rose of Wilmington, North Carolina, James Knight of Brooklyn, New York, John Rose of Spelman, North Carolina, and Robert Lee Bonds of Bronx, of Bronx, New York. Dorothy attended Booker T. Washington High School, but did not complete due, due to giving birth to her beautiful daughter, Tisa Rose Wilson in 1970. However, she did not let becoming a teenage mother prevent her from, from graduating with a GED in 1972. She later graduated from the apprenticeship program of Norfolk Naval Shipyard and became the first black woman title and marble settler. She also worked as a chauffeur for Norfolk Airport Limousine Service, which she shared many stories of meeting celebrities and getting autographs for her daughter. Her passion was caring for two grand granddaughters full time, Talicia and Deanna Wilson. When she moved to Jacksonville in 1998, she enjoyed playing spades, Pinocchio, and singing. Dorothy held several jobs until her health started declining, requiring her to reside at Life Care of Orange Park Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Facility, where the staff took special care of her until she passed. Dorothy Marie Rose leaves to cherish her myth of memory, a daughter, Tisa Wilson, son in love, Dale Wilson, granddaughters, Talisa Marie Wilson, and Deanna Carrie Wilson, and a host of niece, nephews, cousins, extended family members, and loyal friends. Though her smile is gone forever, and we cannot touch her hand, we still have many memories of the one we love. Her memory is our keepsake in which we will never part. God has her in keepness, and we have him in our heart. This is a poem by Tisa Wilson and Patsy Dempsey. In my, in my name, I leave with you. <clears throat> Deep, do not cry for me. 
for go art with you. Oh, open your heart and always remember to stand tall and I will be there whenever you fall. R, remember the good times and may they bring you smiles. O, operate yourself and others through God's eyes. T, treat everyone with love and kindness. H, happiness and joy, pain is no more. Y, ye have faith knowing I am with you, with the Lord. The acknowledgments of the family of Dorothy Marie Rose wish and express sympathy, gratitude to the host of friends, relatives, life care staff, Dr. There you go. And uh, FRCS family and their kindness and sympathy shown during the loss of their loved one. Thank you again for the warm comfort cards, food, flowers, and monetary gift. Tisa, Dale, know that we love you. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Mama smiling on you. When I went to the hospital with Tisa, I remember Mama saying, I love you. And that's what I want to leave you with. She said she loves you. for the love and support that you have shown us during this time. From the text, from the phone calls, um, just the all-around support that we have been getting, it has been overwhelming. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you have experienced this, uh, but um, like I said, we just cannot thank you all enough. I mean, we had people come from New York, South Florida, Tampa, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. I, yeah, it's just, I, I'm lost for words. It's just, we're just so overwhelmed. And I had one brother tell me that, uh, you know, it's based on the life that you live, you live yourself. It shows the amount of support that you'll get. And as I look out here today, I just want to say thank you. But I uh, just want to talk about, and, and I'm not going to get up here and preach because I believe that for the work real man of God. Um, I just have two stories uh, in reference to Dor Dorothy. Um, my first one, the reason we are together right now is because of her. Uh, when we first started dating, not because we had some infidelity or any crazy stuff going on, uh, she just really thought that I didn't like her. So she went home and she talked to her mom and I already know the conversation. All I know is she came running back to me. Thirty something years later, with thirty four years later, we are still together because she told her to come back to me. <laughs> the other story, and then I'll, I'll get out of the way. Um, <laughs> As you read in the obituary, Dorothy was an avid spades player, and I love telling, um, I usually mess the story up, but when she played star, uh, played spades, she could talk much more trash than anybody. Um, you walk in on a card game, and you square up and down. Dorothy just ran a 10, got a Boston on this other team. And I go up to Dorothy, I said, man, y'all just got a Boston on them? She like, no, they got a they got a Boston on the, but they still ain't this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what she learned to get her trash talking from. So, um, 
<laughs> on behalf of my family, I just want to thank y'all for the amount of support that y'all mm -hmm. showed us. My Masonic brothers, my uh, Eastern stars, love y'all to death. I, I, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family for coming here and supporting me. Um, my FRC Southeast family, thank you for being here and supporting me. It means so much to me. Um, my mom was such a charismatic woman. Um, she had this smile that was dazzling. Um, she always gave wonderful advice. And she did tell me that I should give him another chance. <laughs> so, um, and there's a lot of life lessons that she taught me. Some of the lessons that I learned from her, um, I've learned from her as far as to avoid certain things. And then there were some life lessons that she taught me that um, she just gave fabulous advice. She always taught me to be strong, to keep my head up, to face challenges and never give up. I really appreciate that for her, from her. Um, it's like she always saw the best in people and, um, and she always opened her doors to anybody who needed anything. Um, I just can't believe she's gone. She's gone now. I can't believe I'm not gonna see her smile. Well, I'm not gonna hear her tell me she loves me anymore. I wish you all could have seen her when she was in her hanging, when she was so funny. We used to, every Christmas, we saw this song, She Wiz is Christmas. Karen remembers this. And we used to take the tree, um, what was the tree garland or whatever? We used to swing it around like it was a boa. It was just, she was just so much fun. And she loved my daughters. And she, she had Deanna so messed up, my poor baby. She was sleeping all day long. So then when we came home, she was wired up, jumping off the walls. It was just so funny. And they just had this special bond. Deanna used to love to go over our house all the time. And we didn't know, but she finally came clean and told us why. Uh -oh. She used to ride around and her hover around down the street. <laughs> so I just wanted to leave you all with, with some wonderful memories that she left me. Like Dale said, she loved to play cards, loved to play Pekino. We had a lot of Pekino nights. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna miss her so much. Thank you. Anybody who wanted to share a story about mom, please feel free to do so. There's a lot of people who I know here that really don't remember her. They only remember her being sick, and they don't remember how she used to be before she was sick. Thank you. Because I remember her in the heyday. She was my partner. We went everywhere together. We played spades and we talked a lot of trash. <laughs> and I probably was worse than her. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm going to miss her. I used to just itemize the bond that she and teacher had together because I didn't have that with my mom. And so I emulate that with my daughters. I learned to be a loving mother to treat them with respect and to honor them. Because, you know, there's nothing like a mother's love. And when you don't have a mother's love, you know how much you miss. So Tisha, to all you, thank you for showing me love. Thank you for showing my kids love. I took in a cousin, let me talk about a business. I took in a cousin I raised, but Dorothy had been raised by my baby, my baby Jada. And so we're gonna miss her, and we just say thank you. And you always know you can call me. Um, I'm Sabrina, I'm Tisa's sister friend. Um, I had the pleasure of knowing Miss Dorothy 
my early childhood years, watching her walk through the neighborhood, seeing her smile and hearing her laughter brought a deep admiration of her beauty inside and out. <coughs> when we were kids, Tisa, Don, and I were three peas in a pod. And as kids in our early teenage years, I remember we would go out to football games and to parties and just strolling around the neighborhood. And um, Don and I had curfews. And we, you know, we knew what time it was and it was time to start running to get home. And Tisa would be so mad because her mother would tell her, use your best judgment. And it was a testament about Tisa that her mother made her strong, gave her a good heart, gave her a good head, and told her to always trust her judgment. And even to the very end, um, Tisa, trust your judgment. Your mom would have been proud of you. You gave her, you helped her rest and gain her wings. I love you. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the famous Dodge. <laughs> they used to run down them streets. <laughs> and Tisa made sure we got home. <laughs> she did. Dorothy gave her that. You know, look out for them. She was a special woman. I used to watch her walk. She had a very fasty walk. <laughs> she real sassy. She was a beautiful soul, very beautiful soul, and she took us in. You know what I mean? She's her only child. You know, here, here come me and Sabrina. <laughs> you know, she took us in. <laughs> you know, so we listened. We listened, and I love her. I'm sad to see it go, but she got us. We here. I love Dorothy like she was my own mother. She was an amazing woman. Yeah, we slapped them cars. Fire! We did that. You know, I love her. You know, I love you, Tisa. I love the girls. Jill, we are. You know what I mean? It's going to get better. Better days are coming. You know, I love y'all. I love Dorothy. Thank you. I miss, started missing Dorothy uh, quite a few years ago uh, when she started getting sick and uh, we couldn't talk anymore like we used to, and, you know, laugh hard like we used to. And sometimes she wouldn't remember me, uh, but I made her, and when she probably didn't, I said she did. <laughs> As we know, she, she was a fighter because, I mean, she hung in there until she was truly ready to give it up and go. And, you know, God released, you know, just released her. Um, I wrote some things down for my own therapy uh, when I found out that she was gone and I was trying to process things. So um, in order for me to do that well, I uh, just kind of wrote things down about her that I recall. So I'll share them with you because I shared them with Tish. And then she made me feel so bad, so here I am <laughs> to, to share it. Yeah, just a few things, and I've heard it time and time again throughout everyone who's said anything about her because they know her in that way. And so do I. Um, I, I don't know how long I've been knowing the family, but I do know that my remembrance takes me back to about 10 years old. And 
from um, from this chick to Dorothy, from Dorothy to this chick, they never let me go. Um, I've always held a place in their hearts. I don't really know why, you know, they took me on like that. So uh, uh, nothing but the grace of God, but they did. And because of that, I'm here today. And so with that, I say rest in peace, rest in paradise. Well, thank you for all that you've done for me. Um, and what I wrote was, uh, just bear with me, because it's like I'm talking to her, you know. So I was like, girl, we were the first person uh, to explain to me how to be the woman desired within. Um, you constantly assured and reassured me that I was fine, <laughs> and I was worthy. <laughs> you displayed the uh, the heroic attributes of the un, uh, to the underdogs, the unfortunate, and the unesteemed with encouragement and hope. If you came into her path and you had any, uh, you know. De delays or shortcomings or if someone was putting you down if she heard about it or you told them oh she was about to really fill you up with all that you needed to get through and that's just the way she was with with uh, people that you know had any type of um, unfortunate um, experiences or whatever okay so um yeah. Using her keen sense of support that she had, she would say things to you that would really um, move you into your next step going forward. Um, girl, you, um, let me see, I said, girl, you inspire those who would otherwise not know if they belong. I saw you time and again do that. I watched you laugh so freely to the point of real tears so many times and it was so contagious if you weren't hiding me from one thing you'd be protecting me from another you would push me into arenas of uncertainty because i wouldn't dare do this on my own and you continue to do that until it became my norm when i needed family and support to show up for me you were the one and only to attend church for my baptism. I knew that was a challenge for you, but you never said a mumbling word to me about it. You just showed up. And that was a pivotal moment for me in my life. So I thank you so much and I will never forget that. You loved your downtime with your romance novels. <laughs> um, you were a hopeless romantic. And then you shared and you had the confidence that was infused and infectious. And yes, indeed, I watched you. So thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Gail. Yeah. And that's it. So that's it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I am not one for public speaking. I, I'm mostly known for just talking trash among one-on-one. -on -one. But I felt the need to get up here and tell a really funny story that Tisa shared with me about her mother. And it's one of my favorite. I, it's several um, stories that I have, but this one in particular is one that I want to share. 
was the time Tisa told me that her and her mom had went out dancing. And they went, they went, and she said she was out on the dance floor dancing real hard. And she said she looked and her mom was gone. And she said, where you, you know, mom, where you at? She said, I was out there. I was out there. You didn't see me. I was out there. But she only would do this one dance. She would throw her arms up and shake that big booty. <laughs> and that was all, that was the whole thing. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest story. She ended up becoming really good friends with my mother-in-law before my mother-in-law passed. And I shared that story with my mother-in-law. And every time my mother-in-law would go out and dance, she would say, I did the Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about it and I shaked that booty. And that was it. So I just wanted to share that and make everybody laugh. But like, again, I'm not one for public speaking. I'm surprising myself for even getting up here. But thank you. I love you guys. Yeah. Everybody talk about your mom. And I swear they talk about you. <laughs> I just would like for all of the FRC family to stand. If you are an FRC, past or present, past will be retired. <laughs> Those of you who are retired, please stand. And just want to show your family from out of town that you have family in town. God bless you. and complain and act like she wasn't about to do it, but she always ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> Every time I go over, it was a one bedroom apartment. And so she'll always get all the, all the blankets, all the pillows and make a bed for me on the couch. But I always end up in her bed anyway. <laughs> I would always go sneak into her room. I'm like, can I sleep with you? She was like, no, go back out there and sleep on the couch. I made the bed for you. I'm like, please. She's like, Go ahead and get in the bed. <laughs> and I end up turning on the TV and we watch whatever I wanted on the TV. <laughs> she always taught me to try new foods. I always didn't want to try anything, but she always encouraged me to try new stuff. And that's why I'm in the habit of always trying new things now. She always taught me just to enjoy life because she never let me cry. Even when I got hurt, she just turned taught me how to just laugh it off and just go with the flow of things. It was never a sad moment with her. It was always just happy times. And I'm really gonna miss her and all the good times that we had and all the conversations that we always talked about, even though I was the main one doing all the talking. <laughs> I was a very talkative kid. <laughs> but she never told me to be quiet. She always just let me go on and on and on. And she always acted like she was interested even though I knew she'd never fall along to anything I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> but she just always just paid all attention to me. She always took me wherever she went. She always included me in, in anything that she did. It didn't matter if she was just simply going to the store or even to the bathroom, she always just let me be with her. It didn't matter. She never was annoyed of how clingy I was. She always just loved me. 
I'm a cousin. <laughs> Tish, uh, I could stand up here and say a lot of things about your mom and you and your grandma. I've been around y'all all your life. Yeah. And just about ever since Dorothy came to Virginia. And when they was out there in Moore Park, I was going to Jay Cox, so I was over there every day because she was my just cousin. I had her and I had Apple Junior. Both of them came up because they were the my two favorite cousins. I was always the little cousin that they like, boy, will you get from around here? Because I was always there, up under them. Dorothy played when I saw the picture of Dorothy playing softball. Man, I, I was like, man, I remember going to the games. I remember looking at school when, well, I, I remember going to the games. <laughs> I remember going to the games. And I remember when Dorothy, I remember Tom, man, I remember so. Just looking at those pictures brought back so many memories. And I wanted to say to teach you, girl, you're your mama's child. You're your grandmama's child. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that know Aunt Chick and Dorothy, they bumped heads because they were so much alike. They were so much alike. But you could not separate them to save your life. Dorothy would move, but she never moved far. She always stayed close to Aunt Chick, and she always kept you close to her. So I would just like to say, you know, she's gone, but she still lives on. You know, and take that. And I hope. And they're running? Okay. Yes. I guess you heard, couldn't say walking. <laughs> couldn't say walking back. You had to say running back. <laughs> I guess you'll hear about that later. <laughs> but thank you for letting me share this. And
Father, it's in your name. And God, this moment that we have need a word of comfort that Lord, the days and weeks to come, it lifts the family up. So bless right now in this moment of speaking. This is your name. Amen. 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 Uh, just for a few moments, I would like to share with you today from family and friends something to look forward to after this. Something to look forward to after this. It's in John eleven twenty five, where Martha has an issue because her brother Lazarus is dead. And she sends word to tell Jesus to come and check on his friend. Mm -hmm. But it seemed as Jesus was more important than doing something else, All right. that Lazarus ended up dying. Mm -hmm. And after a while, Jesus showed up on the scene and the Bible says that Martha says these words to Jesus. If you was here, mm -hmm. my brother would not have died. Uh -huh. Jesus looked at Martha and said, Martha, <clears throat> thy brother will rise again. And Martha said unto him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection in the last day. And Jesus said unto her, Martha, I am the resurrection. I am the life. And he that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die, but believe thou this. She said unto him, yeah, Lord, I believe. And I share with you today, young lady, after speaking to you on the phone, that there is something else after this. Yes. And even in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your tears, in the midst of your, your sorrow, your frustration, even in the midst of your thoughts that you may have, you have something to look forward to. Yes. It, it may not feel good at this particular moment because today you're lonely. Today you're sad. Today you're empty. Today you're broken. And even after everything that people have said about your mother, and even the words that people have said to bring you uh, joy, there are still tears in your eyes. But what do I do, Pastor? How do I live? How do I keep going? How do I make it another day? How do I make it as a granddaughter? How do I support my wife? And, and through it all, what do I do? And we hold on to these words. Believe. Believe that God called all of us to a certain point in our life today. Oftentimes, we all know that we're going to leave this place, but none of us are prepared to leave. We know that there is a couple of truths. There is. There is the two, two, two things that we know is true, and they say it's death and taxes. We know you're going to have to pay your taxes, and death is something that we all have to face. But how do I live? When the very person I depended on is not there. How do I live when no longer can I pick up the phone and dial that number and just to hear her voice? How do I live that when the next time the, the cars come out to play spades and my partner is no longer across from me to play? How do I make it? You make it by lifting up your head and say, Lord, I believe that there is something after this. Yeah. I believe that, better yet, I want to know that there is something after this because the truth of the matter is all of us sit here today that this side is not the best side. Mm -hmm. This side comes with a lot of frustration. This side comes with a lot of pain. This side comes with a lot of brokenness, a lot of sadness, a lot of loneliness. But the Bible says that on the other side, there won't be any more weeping. There won't be any more crying. There won't be any more doctors. There won't be any more lawyers. But there are streets paved with gold. There, there is a day that's coming that after all that I've suffered on this side, the Bible says, after you have suffered for a little while, we, we must understand that whether you believe or not, we all going to suffer. But it's how you suffer that makes the difference. And today, how you go through this process, you can't let nobody tell you how long you're going to cry. Come on now, sir. You still are a child of God. You can't let nobody tell you you ain't mad at God because it's okay to tell God, even sitting right now, I'm mad. It's all right to say, God, I don't like this that I'm going through. But all you have to do is you got to continue to hold on that there is something after this. And, and pastor, what is the something after this? That my mother is no longer in pain. 
That what, what is this something after this that whatever she had to face on this life journey, she's not facing it anymore? Yeah. What is the something after this that I, I don't have to sit there and watch her be something that she never wanted to be, but because of life has dealt her with some hands. But Lord, if I keep trusting, she's going to be everything that God wanted her to be. Yeah. And you have to hold on to that. And even all of us in here, that I heard even another brother who said he's going through, he loses, lost his mother. I believe all of us in here can take a moment and testify we all going through we all got something that we're dealing with we all got some pain but the bible says weeping may endure for a night i i know this not sunday morning but do any bible readers in here that can testify weeping may endure for a night i don't know how long your night gonna be watch this you're gonna be walking around still at night you're you going to be at your job and it's feel like night. You, yeah. You're going to be in places where everybody is smiling. It's going to feel like night. But the Bible says joy is coming in the morning. And, and you have to hold on to the fact that in my something after this, I don't know how long I'm going to be in this place. But I know if I keep putting my hands in the Lord's hands, if I keep trusting and believing that God will make a way, my joy, and can anybody be a witness yeah. to her? Yeah. That my joy your joy going to come. Yeah. Yeah. The days and months going to come and people going to tap you on your shoulder and say, how you doing? With tears, you're going to still have a smile. How you feel? You're going to say, I'm broken, but I'm blessed. How you feel? I'm suffering, but I got joy because God has been good to me. And if I learn how to live the best life I can live, when my day comes, somebody will say good words over me. When my day comes, they'll stand and sing songs of Zion. So today, hold on that there is something after this yeah. that I got to pick myself up yeah. and I got to go and keep on pressing up the king's highway and even when brokenness is there I'm still blessed yeah. even when my husband don't understand what I'm going through I still know that God is good yeah. even when I just feel like laying in the bed and don't want to get up it's all right lay there and just lift up your hands yeah. And say, God, I thank you for another day. As the old church would say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. But no other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me, oh, no other shall I go. The Bible says that cast all your cares upon him. Because he cares for you. I know you got family sitting around you. I know you got friends and cousins and loved ones and people who are there that's going to be there for you. But can I tell you, they got their own problems too. And when you try and pick up the phone and call them, don't get mad when they don't answer. Don't get mad when they say, I can't help you right now. But remember, there is one person right. that you can cast your cares on. At, and his name is Jesus. I know this is not Sunday morning, but can anybody be a witness? Yeah. That I learned how to cast my cares on the Lord. And even when I didn't think I was going to make it, before I got up off my knees, I, I found a way to keep on pushing. Even when tears got ready before they could hit the pillow, my eyes is already driving. I was losing my mind. I found a way to yeah. pick myself up. Not by my own strength, but by the strength of the Lord. And if you just keep trusting in him, yes. better days are ahead. Yes. But you got to keep on looking up. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, if she could give you a word of advice, She'll tell you, I ain't coming back over there. Because <laughs> over here, ain't J E A, ain't no J E A over here. Over here, I ain't got to see the doctor anymore. Over here, I, I found something better than anything I've ever done. And his name is Jesus. And I'd rather hang in the hearts of the Lord than come back in here just to make y'all happy. So understand, my sister, my brother, my family and friends, that there is something after this. And my father would say these words, you're going to be able to live through it. You're going to be able to be able to push through it. And then the day is coming when you'll be a testimony to somebody else that I was in your same shoes, sitting on that same front row, having to close the same casket. But can I tell you, I'm still standing. Be ye steadfast, unmoved always about in the work of the Lord to know that this, your labor has not in vain. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, oh death, huh, you thought you won. The devil, the death thought they won today, but can I tell you, death didn't win because Jesus is, has won the victory today. So keep on pushing, keep on standing with her, 
Keep on loving and know that there is something after this to look forward to. Amen. 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 who have gathered here today on behalf of the family, to the family, on behalf of Aaron and Bernie Bivens Funeral Home and staff, I thank you for entrusting us with your loved one during this difficult time. I'd also like to remind everyone that there's gonna be a repass. You should have gotten the address. If not, there's some in the back um, where there's gonna be a repass following the service. Please stand.
surrounded by my mom's beautiful flowers. I wanted to take a picture of them before they died and withered away. Thank you everyone for your beautiful donations. I love you, mommy. I miss you.